JCB Live Cocktail Hour with the marvelous, outstanding, exceptional, and so talented Donnell. We are toasting with French bubbles, of course, because tonight it is all about the French themes. So, Donnell. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. What are we drinking? Well, in fact, I'm toasting the French with number zero, Napa Valley, no dosage. So if it is a method chopinoise you want to try in your cocktails, you're very welcome. No sugar, so you play as you wish. Perfect. So I thought it would be fun, since we all love our French man, to do French cocktails. Oh, I don't know, but hopefully Danelle. I do. To do French cocktails. So first we're going to do a classic French martini. Ooh. So, and I've know? always wanted to learn that because Danelle saves me all the time to make the great cocktails. You gotta realize one of the things we've made is an amazing vodka. And you're gonna make it with vodka? I'm gonna make it with vodka. So this is our JCB vodka. Extremely unique in the sense that it's made from Chardonnay, Pinot Noir grapes, and it's actually made from wine. So we distill the wine that we make, and from that distillation, we filter it five times and here it is. So it's meant to be very soft, very rich, and very open. And in a beautiful decanter that's quite heavy. So we're gonna fill our shaker with ice. Okay. And we're gonna add two ounces of the JCB vodka. That sounds reasonable so far. Because when she goes French, she goes excessive. And then we're gonna add Chambord. Oh. And Chambord actually was um, created in France. Yes. Yes. And it's a beautiful chateau, dear friends, Chambord in the Loire Valley, built, of course, by one of my favorite king, Francois I. He was very highly influenced by the Italian Renaissance. He's actually the man who brought Leonardo da Vinci wow. in France to craft and do a few things as well. So a little history lesson. A great chateau. So we're gonna do a half an ounce of the Chambord. Yes. And an ounce of pineapple juice. Ooh, pineapple. Pineapple. We've never done anything with we pineapple. We haven't, we haven't. Love this idea. Okay, so shake it up, shake it up. Look at the nail, she does it on both sides. <laughs> Let's chill our pretty warm. If you like to prepare, yeah. chill it a little bit. Chill it a little bit. Let's see. Wonderful. Love that. And then that. we will strain into your passion martini glass. Which are coming out in a few months. It's going to be beautiful. Same design, same leg, different opening, obviously different purpose. And garnish with the raspberry. Look at that. Effervescence. And there's no bubble in this one. No bubble. I love it. Straight martini. Mmm. And this was shaken, not stirred. Shaken. We love it. And the pineapple, you know, lift it, add, you know, a lot of creaminess mm -hmm. and richness and beautiful fibers into it. I love it. This is the French, French martini. martini. Yes! We are back with Danelle, JCB Spirits. And Frenchie is helping us because we say within the French theme. The French theme of French cocktails. So we're gonna do a French gimlet, which is gonna be with the JCB gin. So dear friends, made from wine, infused with juniper, and then over 47 different plants. So this is one of the most amazing, inspiring, and phenomenal full of flavor gin. And you can see Frenchie loves it. This is why he's with us. He's ready to taste Ooh. some. Ooh. So we're gonna fill a cocktail shaker with ice. Yeah, we're doing that to make sure the glass is fresh. Woo! We gotta be ready for it. Two ounces of gin. Frenchie, stay with us. You wanna taste that cocktail, don't you? Isn't and we're gonna cute? put an ounce and a half of the Saint Germain, which Ooh. is the elderflower liquor. Great idea which comes from France, sticking with the French theme. And we're gonna squeeze a half a lime. And the lime is what makes it the gimlet. So the lime is from the garden as yes. well. We're very fortunate. So it's all the ingredients from the garden as well. You see Frenchie's getting excited. He wants yes. to try. I'm gonna shake this. That's the part he loves the most when you shake. 
Can you shake close to his ears too? He loves it. Oh, Ooh. he knows. It's and coming he, his way. He's gonna taste it. He's gotta be the first one. And you're gonna pour it into your chilled passion martini glass. He is ready. And garnish with a lime. And let's go, Frenchie, tell us about the French gimlet. <laughs> I know he'll finish it. I'll start. Mmm. Fresh, zesty, vibrant, and so incredibly long finish. I love it. JCB Spirits. Welcome to the JCB Spirits Cocktail Hour with the wonderful Danelle. Another great night with another fantastic surprise. French cocktails, we're gonna stay on that theme and I thought we would do one called the Bijou. Ooh, Bijou stands for jewel in French. And it's also what Jean-Charles calls his beautiful wife. Well, so I thought it would be fun. Know, divinity, foreverness, Bijou. She's all of the above. So we're going to, let's use this one. The nail is very delicate, you know. It has to be very precise. Every movement is measured and rehearsed. Okay, we're gonna add ice to a cocktail shaker. I'm very excited about this one because Danelle has spent some very unique ingredients into this. I did, so we're gonna use the JCB gin. But of course. But of course. So you all know 47 plus plants, juniper based, grape, so Pinot Noir Chardonnay, we make the wine, we distill, and then we add the juniper and then over 47 different plants. So. Amazing aromatic expression, very long lasting palette, and a great finish, which is very it's important. Wonderful. The most high profile gin in the world today. So, we're going to do two ounces of gin. Mm, so excited. In that beautiful shaker from Saint Louis, can you believe the first crystal maker of France, 16th century? We're going to do an ounce of sweet vermouth. So, as we love Bijou, we've selected the Gallo Vermouth. It's a sweet vermouth. Great, and it's Gina's grandfather's recipe, so it's even more special. And an ounce of this chartreuse. Yes, yeah, so the monks of Burgundy, or extended Burgundy, Grenoble, created in early 1600 this amazing chartreuse, over 100 plants, concocted together, secret recipe, still kept by the monks. So. It's a secret drink between the gin and the chartreuse. This is pretty amazing. You have a lot of plants combined here. I do. So then we're gonna make a lemon peel. Mm -hmm. And if you just put any type of um, knife or an ice pick, run it around the inside. Mm -hmm. Very the gentle, it's very both precise. Sides. I'm gonna smell. Oh, it's unbelievable. We have over 180 plants in here. So this is something quite special. This is a true concoction. Mm -hmm. Secret because we don't give the recipe of the JCB gin, nor do they ever give the recipe of Chartreuse. Would you like to throw the ice over your shoulder? I think it's good luck, right? Isn't it? Agent 69. It's made of a nice chilled glass. And with a twist, if you twist it like that, ah. it releases the oil from the lemon, but it doesn't give all of the lemon citrus ah, you know, that you would get idea. from squeezing a lemon. And then maybe run it around the edge and some of the oil will go on that too. Drop that in. Stir. Stir. We I love stirring. We want to be gentle. We want to be gentle with I love the softness, bijou. gentleness. Being soft on the edges. And. Mm, lovely color, gold there color. You. There you go. The bijou. The bijou, that's it? Should we see if she wants to taste it? Is she oh, around? Of course, we'll find her. Hey. But before that, I'd better test it. It's a transformation. Unbelievable, unreal, a true bijou. 